Okay, so we have our pen blank here mounted in our pen vise. I know this is squared up. I've squared it a long time ago. I've got my C clamps in place. This really doesn't move. At this nice and tight, I have my 27 64ths bit in here, which is the bit that is recommended for uh, this pen kit. It's going to take out quite a big hole. So I want to go slow. You know, this is a uh, this thing has plasticizers in it to stabilize it, and it is wood. We're going to generate some heat. So I don't want the, the blank to fail or to cause it any undue stress. So um, since I won't be able to talk over the noise of the drill press here, what you're going to see me doing is plunging the drill bit in and out, in and out to, to let the materials come out of the uh, pen as necessary, or the, the blank as necessary. That way I don't get an uh, insufficient buildup in there of materials and uh, basically start, start a fire and uh, ruin the blank. All right, so uh, as I'm going to get towards the bottom, this blank is pretty long. I'm probably going to have to slide it up the drill bit a little bit and uh, turn the drill back on to finish it. So you'll see that step towards the end. All right, here we go. notice as I get deeper into the bit, I start to make more noise and I start to come up with more material each time. So you can really understand the importance of uh, this multiple plunging process. So I'm pretty sure I did not uh, clear through. So I'm just gonna wiggle this up onto the bit a little bit here. And it can sometimes take a little coaxing. And that's probably all I need. The uh, grips will uh, recenter this as it should. I can tell you from feeling this, this is warm. So a part of that's just you know, the drilling process. Part of that's I think some of the plasticizer in here, the plastic material creates more friction than uh, would normally be the case, but I don't think it's it's not so hot that we're gonna have a problem, and I don't have much further to go. So let's uh, let's finish this up. All right. Well, now that I've uh, thoroughly upset every dog in the tri-state area here with that squealing, uh, you can now see got a nice hole there. Looking good, nice and clean on both sides. Next step, I'm going to let this cool off a little bit. Uh, I don't like putting the epoxy in when the uh, uh, blank is hot. I don't know if it matters or not, but uh, I feel like it should shrink back up to the size it should be and uh, uh, allow for a better adhesion, adhesion to the uh, wall of the blank and the less gaps. You know, the more gaps you have, the more likelihood you have a failure. All right. So the next step will be gluing.